so let's go here and let's create like a more uh, fancy object so you can understand uh, how to attach uh, how to move the attach uh, point and transform it let's create like a, an empty object uh, let's call this object a uh, sort so we are going to create a sort and uh, let's reset the point here let's go here uh, let's move this lamp a little bit right let's go to our sort and then i'm gonna create inside my sort i don't know like a cylinder right i'm gonna scale it down to 0.3 actually 0.1 so it's gonna be like really narrow then i'm gonna bring it up and then i'm gonna scale down a little bit this a little bit more less a little bit less like maybe that's too much 0.4 that perfect right so i have like this is gonna be like the blade so i can put here like uh, a blade and then i'm gonna create like the handle for my sword so i'm gonna go here to 3d object and then i'm gonna say that this is a cube and then i'm gonna scale down the cube 0.1 and then i'm gonna bring it up right let me go closer to this thing and it's there it is there and then i gonna expand a little bit this so it's more swordish and then this is gonna be like the base no this is gonna be like uh, ornament ornament or whatever that you type that uh, and then i'm gonna create um uh, the body for like my sword so i'm gonna go here and point one and then i just gonna go up and then i just gonna no uh, and then i just gonna do this something like this yes now we have a really nice sword right looks like a cross cross but whatever uh and this is gonna be body or handle and then we can just make it more fancy go to materials create material let's make the color of the blade let's make the blade a uh, more like uh, a blade so like gray and then this handle is gonna be more actually let's play a little bit the blade is gonna be metallic actually boom metallic nice and then this thing is gonna be uh, create material and then the ornament ornament uh, uh, it's gonna be I don't know gold dish so let's create gold dish so metallic right smooth and, and metallic and then I have this thing and then I'm gonna make this handle dark so another material handle and then it's gonna be i don't know black and then a little bit metallic right and then i just gonna put it there so i have my sword so pretty so the thing is like now the attach point of my sword is actually good because it's gonna grab it from here right but um if i grab this sword now it's gonna be pointing up just pointing up right like all the time it's gonna be quite weird so let's check uh actually i remember that now that i have i create like um like an empty object i need to create also um the boundaries of the box collider or like whatever collider in this case i'm gonna put a box because it's more like the shape of the thing so i'm gonna create the box collider and then i need to go here to the box collider i need to fix this because it's too big the collide the the, the, the boundaries of the box collider so i need to rescale this a little bit like this uh, like this so yeah something like that you can like refine the the the, the box collider 
uh, and then we will need to put the interactable to grab interactable so he's gonna understand that we can interact with our object right so now if i hit play and then i go inside and i point it up and i grab my sword see this is what is happening now i i need to change the direction of my sword because now it's like in a really weird uh, position so so for doing that i'm gonna show you so for changing like the attach point you need to understand something about the axis points like the like the directions of the controller so let me show you for example if i if i if you have the controller here right that direction this direction the if i grab the controller like, like this like the like the forward direction of the controller is our set so it's our blue arrow in unity the joystick the upper like pointing up like this is set the pointing to the up it's the the y position so it's the green one and the red one it's uh it's toward the palm of your hand right so this is the red this is the green and this is the blue so now if we go here to our scene and we see that the blue is pointing that direction and the sword it's in it's pointing in the in the green arrow that's why the when we grab the sword is in that weird position in that weird position so now we need to make the sword to be in the set that's what we are going to try to do now so for that we can go to our sword and then we can right click and then create empty so we create an empty object and we are going to call this attach right and then we are going to move in this attach point we are going to change the, the the direction of this pivot point in just in this attach object that is completely empty so we need to be sure that here uh, it says pivot right and uh, it's in local and then we can go here to rotation for example uh, so if i rotate in our uh, x it's gonna change the direction of the blue arrow so the set minus 90 it's in the right position now if we grab the sword it's gonna point to the direction that we want right and also if we want to grab like for example if we want to move a little bit more like the attach point to be more like in the center of the body we can do it here and then we we, we need to link this attach point to our sword so for that we go to sword right and then we go to do our xr grab interactable because that's the one that has the core of like the interaction and then here we go to attach transform so here we can transform the attach point so we can just grab the attach and bring it to the attach and transform and link it and now it's going to change the attach point of our complete sword so if we hit play and then we go here We can grab our sword and now our sword it's in the in the in the in the direction that we want right so that's the way that you can like just change uh, the attach point of like objects